Our first key matchup of this uh, last round will be between France and Italy. Uh, Italy bri briefly sat at the top of Pool A uh, after two rounds, which was impressive just on its own when you take into account that the other two in the group are France and New Zealand. After being absolutely mauled by New Zealand last week, Italy would have to really pull themselves together and pull out something spectacular. Italy have however been the perennial underperformance in the Six Nations, but they've also managed to pull off some shocking victories in the past uh, five years. So you're not sure what you're going to get from Italy. They're definitely capable, but I don't think they really believe that they can do this yet. They've had too many disappointments over the years, and I think that is going to hold them back. So there's a mental aspect rather than a physical aspect that will be a, an issue for them. There would have to be a shift in mindset. That is going to be the first thing that's going to be important if they've got that shift in mindset and they're playing this like a final where their lives depended on it, they can pull something off. Every ruck, every tackle, every pass, every kick must be well thought out and they must be concentrating for 80 full minutes to have a chance here. And then they do actually have a chance. France, on the other hand, are phenomenal. So you can't argue with that. They are just brilliant. Uh, They've not shown any real signs of weaknesses except when uh, they just had a too close a call with Uruguay. Uh, they are not the perfect team at the moment. Uh, that goes to uh, Ireland, I believe, at the moment in terms of being near perf perfect and how they approach the game. But France are definitely, definitely high class. They have a lot of threats all over the uh, park. And despite not having DuPont in the team, They've got so much uh, going for them in terms of momentum, in terms of uh, the players that they've got, the skill and the flair that they have, that they should be able to actually pull this one off uh, without really uh, breaking a sweat. The thing that has changed for France in recent years, some credit to their coach, is that they've uh, changed from the team that we've seen in past years where it was skill and flair, where it is now skills and flair plus structured game management. And that is absolutely crucial uh, these days in rugby. If you're not going to have that game management, you are going to have uh, results uh, that don't go your favor at odd times. And they can't, can't, can't afford it at this time. However, that in combination with playing the Rugby World Cup at a home and uh, in your own country and all the build up and all of the fanfare around it is going to make it near impossible for Italy to pull this one off. But 80 minutes of rugby still needs to be played, so not a foregone conclusion.